Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is yet another video of is it a cheat? Is it a third party tool? Is it should it be considered cheating? Recently in Trackmania, the developers put out an update where they brought back an old environment from one of the older games, the very first Trackmania game actually. They brought back the snow environment. Now, Nadio and Ubisoft have had issues over a lot of things in the last three years with Trackmania 2020. I've made videos on some of them, like how they cannot make up their mind with the physics on the ice, and they change it nearly every patch, and it's pissed people off because now there's racetracks that you cannot beat because they were made on the old physics and there's no way to go about it. But they added all this new stuff from the very first Trackmania game, including the vehicle. And what a lot of people are upset about is they're claiming that now that this car was added, that Trackmania is no longer competitive on a keyboard. You cannot compete with a controller player. You cannot compete with somebody who uses a steering wheel and pedals. If you are on a, con a keyboard, you cannot keep up. You will not be able to set world records. You can't do this. You can't do that. So <clears throat> what is going on? What, why am I making this video of, is it a cheat? It's because virtual's back in the news. <laughs> this guy, I give him props. He makes Ubisoft and Nadio put up or shut up and actually calls them out and gets them to make a statement. Give me one second. So recently he brought up the subject again of keyboards are not competitive. 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 <laughs> if I could talk, my life would be so good. Anyway, in my argument, keyboard hasn't been competitive since the day that controllers hit PCs. If a game supports a controller, you're going to be better at the game on a controller, except maybe first person shooters. But even then, that comes down to the skill of the person. In Trackmania specifically, if you're on a keyboard, I don't think it will ever match anything that a controller can do in Trackmania. So what he did recently was he took the racetrack, uh, I'll just read what he said. The Trackmania snow car is super fun, but competitively it introduces some big issues, and I think it should be talked about sooner rather than later. World record on Slippy's Snow, 29.187. I drove this on my analog keyboard using a custom steering profile from 0 to 60%. What does that mean? Well, if we scroll down, you see this graph. This graph is part of the third-party software that his keyboard specifically uses from the keyboard manufacturer to control the pressure of a key press. Very similar to, like, the analog... L2 and R2 on a PlayStation controller or the L and R buttons on an Xbox controller. You can actually 50% press, 44% press. You can 86% press on those. They're analog, which means you can do them. You don't have to 100% press them. And that's what he's doing with his keyboard. But what he's changed about it with the third-party software that's included with the keyboard, and I call it third-party because it's not part of Trackmania, he has it so if he 100% presses the key, it only then allows for 60% steering angle. In my mind, that's a cheat. That's technically cheating. Now, why do I say this? Why do I have a say? I mean, I realistically don't have much of a say. I've been playing Trackmania since 2008 when I discovered Trackmania Sunrise Extreme as an advertisement in a video game magazine. I'm a hobbyist player at best. I'm not known in the Trackmania escape. I play it casually. I'm not competitive. But I've been playing the game for so long that when I picked up the game in 2008, I started with a keyboard. I've played Trackmania with a keyboard from 2008 to 2021. When my computer broke in 2021 and I started having issues... There was like six months worth of time that I stopped playing Trackmania. And when I came back, I was like, huh, I haven't played in like six months. I'm going to give it a shot with a controller. Within three hours of grinding, a 
racetrack that I had a ninth in the world placement on, I went from ninth to second in the world. I believe you can still find that video on my channel. It was the Smurf and Snot number two is what the racetrack is called. Three hours of play, I was immediately better than I ever was in almost 20 years on a keyboard. I'm also not, I don't have an analog keyboard either though. But that's why I see this as kind of a cheat is because it's using a third party tool. If he 100% key presses, he's getting 60% steering. That's, it's weird. So like here's his world record using his analog keyboard. Now I'll explain the way this works because he has two things here for following keys. He has this down here for simply monitoring a press and then this up here tells you percentage of the key press. If he was on a controller and you saw this be like 34%, it would be like pushing the controller to the left like 34%. 34 is kind of a meme in the Trackmania space. But as you can see here, if this turns blue, he's using an analog key. So if you watch, turns into the snow car, you can see that he's steering like 35%, which means if you look at his graph, he's pressing it maybe one millimeter down or something like that. When you see him go up to 43%, he's pressing the key like three millimeters down. But he can never go a full 100%, which in my mind, that's because of the software with the keyboard that is external to the game. Therefore, in my mind, it's kind of a cheat. But then again, they also allow Open Planet, which is a third party software for Trackmania that literally hooks the memory um, or the hooks the process and mod modifies things in memory on Trackmania. <sighs> this game's a slippery slope. Let's see what else he said, though. The problem I have with the snow car is that it's very advantageous on analog devices. Keyboard players have next to no chance competing for top records, even with action keys. So like I said earlier, action keys in Trackmania are preset keys. I actually don't know if I explained this yet because I've recorded this like four times. Action keys in Trackmania are preset steering angles that are not 100% steering. So if you play with the arrow keys, you play with the arrow keys, you can use your left control to steer, I think it's 45% left. And then like your, if you have a number pad, you can do like number pad zero and turn right 60%. But they are predetermined values in Trackmania. So if Natio wants to stay true to their words from last year, then something really needs to change. So last year they said this. A key philosophy for us has always been to try and stabilize the training of players opposed to some games that regularly change gameplay and have a more dynamic meta. Oh my god, they didn't even stick to this because they keep messing with the bobsleigh and ice environments. When players settle on learning how to play with a keyboard or controller, it really means something to us and we always aspire to keep your training valuable. Sometimes this means making small adjustments to further close the gap in performance between different input devices. So they mean steering wheel, they mean controller, they mean keyboard. With more controller favored cars like Rally coming out next year, so they are adding other cars, I and others really want to have clear rules from Natio on specifically what is and isn't allowed. Traditionally, players have used DX tweak on these cars in Trackmania United to get better times. What now? DX Tweak is a tool that's kind of universal. It's a universal keyboard uh, manipulation tool where you can, even if you don't have an analog keyboard, you can make your own custom action keys. Since these cars are so sensitive to regular input and the fastest way to drive is to prevent sliding at all times, controller players have historically used DX Tweak to limit their steering range from 0 to 100% to 0 to 70% and below to get more control and achieve better times. Always has been a thing in Trackmania United, like he was saying. Going forward, it'd be really great to know if the following are allowed and to what extent. Limiting the steering range of an analog device, it's, I think they already said this, 
and setting custom analog profiles. And if anything is to be done to bridge the increasing gap between keyboard and controller slash wheel. For full transparency, this is the keyboard profile I used in the run above. With in-game action keys, I could probably only at best achieve a time of plus 0.15 on this, so plus 0.15 seconds to the time he ran. And with no action keys at all, I'd be surprised if I could get within two seconds of this time even being possible. I think that's pushing it a little bit. There's a significant portion of the player base that are competitive on keyboard who currently are at a big disadvantage anytime the snow car is used. What should they do now and with future updates? Some computer community members will say, just switch to controller if it's faster. And if that's Nadio's stance on it too, then okay, but it really does not seem like a great idea to disenfranchise a large part of the player base this way. I agree with that. Personally, I really enjoy playing on keyboard and would not have as much fun playing Trackmania on a controller, even if I could magically transfer 10 years of muscle memory and be just as fast. Like I just said, I've been playing Trackmania for almost 20 years on very different environments and physics because of the changes to United, the changes to Trackmania Canyon, the changes on Trackmania Nations. It doesn't take that long to get adjusted and be just as good, if not better, on a different controller. If nothing is added to aid keyboard players in games, I'm going to use the analog keys from now on. All right, you're going to get banned. <laughs> Some people will refer to the rules from the Midori incident, which defined that it's not allowed to lock the steering at an optimized angle and drastically trivialize the mechanics that require skill to execute. To say the way I drove this run is cheating. So basically that's what people are saying is using his keyboard software, it's cheating, which is technically what I'm saying as well. In my opinion, this case is different and needs clarification. Midori ruling was written under different circumstances. No, it wasn't. And it doesn't address the exact issue at hand, specifically about the things mentioned earlier. Are you allowed to limit your analog curves and custom steering profiles? No, you're not. They made that clear last year. If Nadio considers this run and play style to be cheated, then that's fine for me. It's at least preferable to hearing nothing back at all. Yeah, be transparent with your community, come on. All in all, I hope they allow analog keyboards to be used this way as it gives top keyboard players an alternative to controller. What are your thoughts? It, it, it's built into the keyboard, that I understand. What I don't like is the software that allows you to lock it. If so, he's got four millimeters of travel for his keys, is what you can see here. If he can, if it can be mapped from here to here, and you still have a hundred percent steering angle, just like a full key press, I don't see that as a problem. But what he's arguing is this isn't the same, quote unquote. It is the same because he is still locking the steering angle to 60%. That is still the same. It doesn't matter if he's barely pressing the key. It's still 60%. Now, full honesty and transparency, if you are so gentle on your keys on your keyboard that you can control only two millimeters of press on a four millimeter keyboard, good on you. That is some finger control, and the women must love you but he's still locking steering angle. Yes, it's not like last year where it was locking it specifically to 34%. He's creating a graph where depending on how hard he presses it, that's the percentage angle, just like a controller moving the control stick. But if it was 100% keyboard based, I don't think it would, I would see it the same as a cheat, but at the same time, it's, there's a lot of games out there that do not allow this. They don't allow analog keyboards. They don't allow analog key inputs. If you have a mouse that can do macro recording, they don't allow that. If 
you have a mouse where you can adjust DPI on the fly. There are some games that don't even allow that. If, you know, I Call of Duty, I think, is one of the games that has made it very clear that they will not allow analog keyboards from what I've seen. I think Fortnite has even said the same thing about macros, which macros are a completely different subject. I'm pretty sure they're not allowed in Trackmania. But I feel like this has already been established by Nadio. Technically, what he's doing should be considered cheating because of the tool used with his keyboard. If it was all hardware-based, I don't think it would be cheating because it'd be the same thing as picking up a controller. I don't think there's software out there for manipulating controllers input the same way, but there might be for all I know. I don't know. So I guess let me know your thoughts in the description down below. I think the software is cheating, but I also very much understand where he's coming from. 